Maritime English Conversations on Merchant Vessel Chapter 6, Navigation 63 Navigating a Narrow Channel Third Officer, Captain, her position is on the course line. It's five miles to the next waypoint, sir. Captain, thank you. The ship ahead of us seems to have reduced its speed. Third mate, what is our distance from that ship? Third officer, three miles, sir. Her speed is 11 knots. She has slowed down a bit. We are getting closer to her. Captain, roger. Our speed is 12 knots. Let's reduce our speed, too. Bring down the engine revolution to 75 RPMS. Third officer, roger. Calling the engine room, reduce the speed to 75 RPMS. We are getting too close to the ship in front of us. To the captain, message sent, sir. Speed will be reduced. Captain, roger. Raymond, captain, I can see something floating by her port bow, sir. Third officer, it could be driftwood, sir. Captain, roger. Quartermaster, bring us to starboard 10. Raymond, starboard 10, after steering starboard 10, starboard 10. Sir. Captain, okay. Midship. Port 10. Midship. Steady. Raymond, steady. Steady 245, sir. Captain, 245. Thank you. Third officer, Captain, the boat safely passed the driftwood. Captain, thank you. Quartermaster, bring us back on course. Raymond, resuming course. After returning back to a heading of 236, back on course 236, sir. On the course line, sailing on the predetermined sailing course. Waypoint, a point between major points on a route. Distance, the space between two objects or places. Not, a unit for showing a ship's speed, one nautical mile, approximate 1.85 kilometers per hour. Revolution, turn, rotation. RPM, revolution per minute, a unit indicating the engine's frequency of rotation, thus its speed. Bow, front section of a ship. Driftwood, piece of wood floating on the water. Midship, direction set to the middle of a ship, middle of the ship. Resuming, returning, going back to the previous setting. 64 Bad Visibility Third Officer, calling the Captain, Captain, this is the third mate. Visibility has been reduced to 2 or 3 miles. Captain, coming up to the bridge, that's quite bad. This fog is not good. Are there any ships around? Third Officer, yes, there's one ship 5 miles ahead, off our starboard bow. Its speed is almost the same as ours. Captain, observing the radar, I see. Third mate, start the fog signals. Third officer, yes, sir. Watching the radar, Captain, a ship seems to be approaching on an opposite course. Our distance is 12 miles. I'll check the data with the ARPA. Yes, it's on an opposite course. The CPA is 1 mile. The ship will pass our port side in about 15 minutes. Captain, keep watching it with the ARPA. Are there any ships behind us? Third officer, no, sir. Movements of other ships are still the same, sir. Captain, going out to the starboard wing and listening carefully, third mate, let's change our course to starboard. Third officer, yes, sir. I'll change the course so that the CPA will be 2 miles. Quartermaster Raymond, course 095, please. Raymond, yes, sir. After having changed the course, now on course 095, sir. Third officer, 095, thank you. Captain, CPA is 2 miles now. Our distance from the other ship is now 5 miles, sir. Captain, okay. Keep an eye on it. 
Are there any other ships out there? Third officer, no, sir. Captain, I can now see the ship approaching. Visibility is about three miles. Visibility, visible distance, range of obtaining a clear view. Fog, condensed water vapor hanging in the air. Starboard bow, ship's right hand side front. Radar, radio detecting and ranging a method of detecting distant objects. Approaching, coming near. CPA, closest point of approach. Keep an eye on it, watch it closely. Keep monitoring its movement. 65 an engine problem. Third officer, answering a phone call from the engine room, hello, this is the bridge. First engineer, this is the first engineer speaking. The main engine has a slight problem. I will be reducing the speed to 50 RPM. Is everything all right on the bridge? Third officer, yes. There are no problems here. The captain comes up to the bridge. Captain, third mate, the chief engineer told me that the fuel valves are in bad condition. He wants to reduce the speed and check the valves. Depending on their condition, he might decide to stop the engine. He can repair them temporarily. Third officer, I understand, sir. The revolution is now at 50 RPM, sir. Captain, note the present time and position. Third officer, I did, sir. Answering a call from the engine room, hello, yes, this is the bridge. First engineer, we are checking the valves now. We will be slowly reducing the RPM until the engine stops. Is that okay? Third officer, I'll ask the captain. To the captain, captain, they want to stop the engine once they have reduced the RPM. Is that okay? Captain, yes, tell them to go ahead. And tell the first engineer to let me know ahead of time, when they will be reducing the speed, and for how long the engine will be stopped. Let's hoist two black balls to signal that the vessel is not under command. Third officer, yes, sir. I'll do it right away. In bad condition in bad shape, in an unsatisfactory state. Depending on, determined by other factors. Temporarily, for a short time, not permanent. Ahead of time, in advance, before the scheduled time. Hoist, to raise, as to raise to the top of a mast. The vessel is not under command, the ship has no power and cannot move on its own, adrift. 66 talking on the VHF radio with another ship, 1. Raymond, a ship is approaching our head on an opposite course. I can't make out her exact heading because I'm alternately seeing her starboard and port lights. Third officer, that's probably because of the waves. Let's pass each other port to port. I'll confirm it by VHF. Calling on the VHF radio, to southwest bound vessel, course 215. This is the northeast bound or carrier Otaka Maru, 8 miles at your head. Do you read me? Indian Highway, to ship at our head, course 035, this is Indian Highway, course 214. Do you read me? Third officer, Indian Highway, Indian Highway, Indian Highway. This is Otaka Maru. I read you loud and clear. Over. Indian Highway. Otaka Maru, this is Indian Highway. Please change channel to 06. Over. Third officer, channel 06, Roger. Changing to channel 06, Indian Highway, this is Otaka Maru. Do you read me? Indian Highway, Otaka Maru, I read you loud and clear. Over. Third officer, I will change my course to starboard. Let's pass each other port to port. Indian Highway, port to port, Roger. I will change my course to starboard, too. Third officer, thank you for your cooperation. Bone voyage. Back to channel 16. Indian Highway, thank you. Bone voyage. Back to channel 16. Make out, to judge, 
determine, understand. Alternately, back and forth, shifting from one to the other. Port to port, passing each other on the left side of the ship. Confirm, to verify, to make sure. VHF, very high frequency a type of radio communication. Or carrier, a ship specialized in carrying ore. Indian Highway, Indian Highway, name of a ship in this scene. I read you loud and clear, I can hear you clearly. The radio is working well. Cooperation, help, assistance, working together. 67 talking on the VHF radio with another ship, to Ocean Princess, to the ship on my starboard bow, course 215, speed 15 knots. This is container ship Ocean Princess, 8 miles away, 045 degrees off your port side, course 300. Do you read me? Third officer, on the VHF, Ocean Princess, Ocean Princess, this is VLBC Nayataka Maru, Nayataka Maru. I read you loud and clear. Please change to channel 06. Ocean Princess, channel 06, Roger. Changing the channel, Nayataka Maru, this is Ocean Princess. Over. Third Officer, Ocean Princess. This is Nayataka Maru. I can read you loud and clear. Ocean Princess, according to the ARPA reading, the CPA is 0.5 miles. I think I can pass you safely on my present course. May I pass you at your bow? Over. Third Officer, you may not pass at my bow. I repeat. You may not pass at my bow. Pass at my stern. According to our ARPA, the CPA is 0.4 to 0.6 miles. It is too short. Please follow the traffic rules. Ocean Princess, Roger. I will pass at your stern. I will change my course to starboard now. Third officer, thank you. I will maintain my course and speed. Back to channel 16. Ocean Princess, Roger. Back to channel 16. Ocean Princess, Ocean Princess, name of a ship appearing in this scene. Container ship, a special ship used for carrying containers. VLBC, very large bulk carrier. At your bow, ahead of you. At my stern, behind me, at my rear. Traffic rules, set of rules that vehicles, ship, etc., must follow to ensure safety. Maintain, to keep, to retain. 68 talking on the VHF radio before entering port. Third officer, captain, I've checked our position. We are on the course line. Our speed is 12 knots. We will arrive at the Uraga traffic route entrance earlier than our ETA, sir. Capt, okay. We might have to reduce our speed at the Tokyo Bay entrance due to traffic. So, for now, let's keep the same speed. An hour later. Third officer, captain, we are now 10 miles from the Uraga traffic route entrance, sir. Captain, okay. Call Tokyo Martis and report our position. Third officer, yes, sir. On VHF radio, Tokyo Martis, Tokyo Martis, this is Shinzan Maru, Shinzan Maru. Do you read me? Martis, Shinzan Maru, this is Tokyo Martis. I read you loud and clear. Change to channel 12, please. Over. Third officer, channel 12, Roger. Changing to channel 12, Tokyo Martis, this is Shinzan Maru. Good morning. Do you read me? Martis, yes, I read you. Over. Third officer, our present position is 10 miles from the Uraga traffic route number 1 buoy. Over. Martis, your position is 10 miles from the Uraga traffic route number 1 buoy. Roger. I have you on my radar now. Your ETA at the Uraga traffic route entrance is 9.30. Have you changed your ETA? Over. Third officer, no, we haven't. 
Over. Martis, please let us know when you enter the Uraga traffic route. Back to channel 16. Over and out. Third officer, Roger. I'll let you know when we enter the route. Back to 16. Over and out. Uraga, an entrance to Tokyo Bay. EDA, estimated time of arrival. Due to traffic, because there are many ships. Martis, VHF call name of the Tokyo One Traffic Advisory Service Center. Bui, a floating marker on the water's surface. Radar, an abbreviation for radio detecting and ranging over and out. I'm cutting off the communication. 69 entering port, 1. Pilot station, on VHF radio, Shinzan Maru, this is the Uraga Channel Pilot. Do you read me? Third officer, Uraga Channel Pilot, this is Shinzan Maru. I read you loud and clear, over. Pilot station, Shinzan Maru, change to channel 06, please. Third officer, Roger. Changing to channel 06. Changing channel, Uraga Channel Pilot, this is Shinzan Maru. Over. Pilot station, the pilot will be on station at 9.20, as scheduled. Please rig your pilot ladder on the starboard side, one meter above the waterline. Third officer, Roger. I'll rig the pilot ladder off our starboard side, one meter above the waterline. Over. Pilot station, back to 16. Third officer, by transceiver, second officer, the pilot wants us to deploy the pilot ladder off the starboard side, one meter above the water line. Second officer, pilot ladder on the starboard, one meter above the water line. Roger. I'll rig it now. Captain, second mate, will you tell Raymond to wear a safety vest when he prepares the ladder? Second officer, yes, sir. Third officer, calling the engine room, the pilot will come aboard at around 9.20 as planned. Captain, third mate, engine at standby. Third officer, engine at standby, sir. Pilot station, pilot station. Rig your pilot ladder, set or lower the ladder used to help the pilot board or disembark a ship. Above the waterline, higher than the waterline. Transceiver a communication tool which can send and receive radio signals. Deploy, to put in position, to prepare to use. Safety vest, a floatable jacket that will help a person stay afloat in the water. 70 entering port, 2. Pilot, good morning, Captain. Captain, good morning, Pilot. The engine is now at half, and our course is north. Pilot, OK. Bring the engines to full ahead and change our course to 002, please. Captain, there's an escort boat about 500 meters ahead. Captain, thank goodness that the visibility is good today. Pilot, yes. There are too many fishing boats about. I hope that they don't cross our route. What is the top speed we can do? Captain. We can do about 11.8 knots maximum, since we are half laden. She can go astern quickly at this speed. The engine crew, however, has advised us not to go to full speed astern for more than a minute at a time, except for in an emergency. Pilot, I see. I'll take account of that. There are the fishing boats. To the escort boat by transceiver. Please tell those fishing boats to keep clear of our course. Captain, we encountered a lot of fishing boats in the Malacca Straits during this voyage. Pilot, there always seems to be many fishing boats there. Captain, yes. They are equipped with modern engines now and are very quick. Pilot, yes, they are. Captain, will you hoist the first substitute flag and flag Sierra before we reach that buoy? Captain, I will. Have you got any berthing instructions for us? Pilot, yes. We'll berth on the starboard alongside the west berth. 
Captain, I understand. Thank you. Third mate, tell the chief mate to bring us to berth on starboard side. And prepare the flags. Third officer, yes, sir. Engine is now at half, engine speed is set to half ahead. Full ahead, fastest engine speed. Note, the engine speed varies from dead slow ahead, dead slow astern, slow ahead, slow astern, half ahead, half astern, to full ahead, full astern. An escort boat, a boat which accompanies a large ship to ensure safety. Fishing boat, a vessel used for catching fish. Half laden, ships holds, tanks, are filled halfway, half dead weight, carrying only half of the full load. Astern, toward the rear of a ship. Except for in an emergency, only done in emergencies. Take account of, put something into consideration. Encountered, ran into, met, came into contact. Equipped with, provided with, fitted with. The first substitute flag, a flag showing a ship's destination. Flag Sierra, also a flag showing a ship's destination. Berth on the starboard, to dock or moor a ship with the right side facing the dock. 71 Preparing the mooring lines. Bosun, Raymond, stand by the winch. The rest of you, man the ropes. Raymond, the clutch is set, sir. Stand by for walk back, sir. Bosun, okay. Walk back slowly. Sailors, pull the end. Alex, Bosun, should the end be in this position? Bosun, that's fine. Now put the eye just between the rollers. Peter, carry this the same way you carry that. Raymond, stop. Alex, Peter, just a moment. I'll help you. Bosun, we're ready. Bosun, okay. Raymond, walk back. Raymond, Roger. Walk back now. Bosun, that's it? Take it out like you did before. Raymond, stop. The hussars are okay. Now, let's do the breast wires. We have to shift the wires from the port side with the messenger rope, since she'll berth on her starboard side. Raymond, take this messenger rope to the starboard capstan. Raymond, yes, sir. Bosun, stand by heaving in, sir. Bosun, just a moment. Alex, be careful that the mandarin shackle won't get caught in the deck roller. Alex, Bosun, stand by, sir. Bosun, Peter, walk back. Raymond, slowly heave in. Alex, the shackle is coming. Watch it. Alex, Bosun, the mandarin shackle is coming our way. Bosun, Raymond, move slowly. Hold on. Peter, stop for a moment. Alex, where is it? Alex, it's just in the roller's hook. I think it's okay. Bosun, Roger. Peter, walk back again. Raymond, heave in slowly. Alex, Bosun, the shackle is passing. It passed clearly, sir. Bosun, okay. Stop. Remove the messenger rope. Let's go to the next one. Clutch, a device for engaging or disengaging of, for example, a motor. Hawsers, large ropes used for mooring or towing a ship. Breast wires, wires used to secure the midship section to the dock, spring lines. Heaving in, to pull in, as in pulling in a rope. Mandarin shackle, type of shackle used to connect to lines. 72 Discussing the navigation schedule. Captain, oh, second mate, there you are. I'd like to ask you about the navigation course that you made. Second officer, yes, what is it? Captain, our estimated speed is 14.5 knots. Is this the same speed as we made on our last voyage? Second officer, yes, it is. We also did the same speed on the one before that. 
Captain, I know. But, on our next voyage, we might be going against the current. That could slow us down by one or two knots. Second officer, I think I wrote that down in the pilot chart. I wondered which one I should choose. I referred to the record of our last two voyages. Captain, at this time of year, there is a strong countercurrent. That's what happened last year. Up until now, the ship's hull is pretty clean. I think you should calculate our speed as 13 knots. Second officer, yes, sir. I will. Third officer, did you calculate our EDA on your PC? Second officer, yes, I did. We have a program in Excel. When you enter the waypoint, then it gives you the ETA automatically. Captain, third mate, this program is probably really useful, but for the time being, you should learn how to do the calculations by hand. This way, you will know how to calculate the ETA correctly. Third officer, yes, I'll try to do it by hand and if I need help, I'll ask the second officer. Can I use a calculator with trigonometric functions? Captain, why, of course. You should first learn how to calculate the distance between two points. It's really interesting. Third officer, I did it at school, and I'm sure I can still remember how to do it. Navigation course, a ship's sailing course, means a navigation plan in this case. Estimated, presumed, assumed. Current, flow of water in the sea. Pilot chart, a chart showing wind directions, strengths, ocean currents, etc. Referred to, looked at, for information. Counter current, flow of water in the sea, flowing in the opposite direction from the main flow. Automatically, by itself, without help. Calculations, using numbers to figure out the size, quantity, and quality, etc. Trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, etc., an angle expressed as the ratio of two of the sides of a right triangle. 73 taking over the navigation watch. Third officer, he comes up to the bridge and checks the ship's course on the chart, after letting his eyes get used to the darkness. He also reads the captain's night order book. Then he comes out to the wheel room, good evening, Sir. Chief Officer, good evening. Third Officer, proceeding to the center compass, may I take over the watch? Chief Officer, present course and speed are 218 degrees, at 15.5 knots. We have maintained the same speed for the last four hours. The distance to the next waypoint is about seven miles, and we'll reach it sometime after 2030. The current effect is light, and visibility is good. Third officer, yes, sir. Our course is 218. Chief officer, for our surrounding area, the ship over there showing the green light is on an opposite course from us. Her distance is six miles, and her course is about 35 degrees, which is just about our opposite. The CPA is two miles. Third officer, I see. Chief officer, there's another ship, far away off our port side, at a distance of 15 miles. I've observed it on radar, and its course is also opposite of ours. We should be able to see her mast light soon. Third officer, yes, sir. He looks for it with the binoculars, I can't see it yet. Chief officer, there's one more ship, this one following about two miles behind us, it's the small one that we overtook a while back. I haven't seen any fishing boats, but the second mate saw a lot of them during his watch. Keep a close watch for them. Third officer, yes, sir. Chief officer, I haven't received any navigation warnings. You've read the captain's night orders, right? Third officer, yes, I have. I'll take over, sir. Thank you. Chief Officer, good night. Chart, map or other graphics that show various features of navigation, to help ships to sail safely. Darkness, 
Lack of light. Night order. In this case, a list of commands and precautions written by the captain. Take over the watch. To take over the duty of keeping watch on the bridge, engine control room, etc. Surrounding. Things found around something. Binoculars. A visual aid made of couple set of lenses which allows faraway objects to be seen more clearly. A while back, some time ago, in the past. Keep a close watch for, to carefully look out for something, be prepared for. Navigation warnings, special warnings that alert ships about sailing conditions, weather alerts, storm warnings, etc. 74 taking over at the engine room. First engineer, third engineer, we're now changing the main engine exhaust valve. Remember, whenever you work in the engine room, wear a safety helmet and don't pass under any heavy machinery that's suspended from hoists. Third engineer, yes, sir. First engineer, meet Hashimoto, our previous third engineer. She'll show you around and teach you what to do. Hashimoto, I'm Hashimoto. Nice to meet you. Third engineer, I'm Johnny. Nice to meet you, too. Please show me everything you can. This is my first time on a Japanese ship, and I want to learn as much as possible. Hashimoto, the third engineer is in charge of several machines, such as the provision refrigerator, the air conditioner, the evaporator, their auxiliary pumps, and onboard electricity, etc. He's also in charge of maintaining the fuel oil, including purifier maintenance, keeping the logbook and filing the noon report. You should read the third engineer's takeover notebook to get the details. Third engineer, I'm confident working with electricity and the refrigerators, but I'm not so sure about controlling the fuel oil. Please teach me as much as you can. Hashimoto, of course. This was my third ship as a third engineer. And what matters most is training, not studying. Third engineer, thanks. By the way, I'm surprised at how clean it is in the engine room. Hashimoto, thank you. To work efficiently, it's really important to keep things clean and tidy. It also helps you quickly spot any trouble. Safety helmet, hard hat worn to protect the head. Suspended, hanging in the air. Hoists, device for lifting a heavy object. Previous, something occurring or existing before something else. Is in charge of, has the responsibility of doing something. Provision refrigerator, cooling device for preserving food. Auxiliary, additional, something provided to help the function of other main equipment. Purifier, device used to clean up something, air, water, oil. Logbook, a book of records, especially of navigation. Noon report, a report showing the conditions of onboard equipment. Confident, sure, with assurance. What matters most is training not studying, it's more important to learn by doing something than by studying about it. Efficiently, in an effective manner, in a manner that can yield good results. Tidy, clean and neat, well organized. Thanks for watching. If you like my content, please don't hesitate to press the like button. If you want to be updated when I post new videos, hit subscribe. I hope you enjoy.